mandibular premolars are usually single rooted. The first mandibular premolar is usually a little smaller than the second premolar. The mandibular first premolar has a long pointed buccal cusp and a lingual cusp that's not functional. From the buccal, the buccal cusp is slightly mesial to center and therefore the mesial cusp slope is shorter than the distal cusp slope. Mesial and distal contacts are just cervical to the junction of the occlusal and middle thirds. The mesial outline is slightly concave and the distal outline is rounder. From the lingual view, there's a mesial lingual groove between the lingual cusp and the mesial marginal ridge. There's also a small lingual cusp in comparison with the buccal cusp. From the proximal, we can see that there's a lingual inclination of the crown. And because of this, the buc buccal cusp tip is near the long axis of the tooth. The mesial marginal ridge slopes towards the lingual. The buccal height of contour is in the cervical third. The lingual height of contour is in the middle third. From the occlusal, there's a proximate diamond-shaped outline. The buccal triangular ridge is longer than the lingual triangular ridge. The mesial marginal ridge is shorter and less prominent than the distal marginal ridge. The mesial and distal converge towards the lingual, and there are mesial and distal pits and fossa.